When I was born, everyone was really happy. Okay, almost Are everyone. Are you taking a photo together? No, no, yeah. I think for you, all together. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah? Can I take a photo? I soon learned that the sounds that I make get the attention of everyone around me. Oh, right. Again, almost everyone. I was told I hit my head really hard when I fell on the floor one day. Maybe that's why I'm not so smart. What are you doing? Huh? Did you hear your brother? My parents seemed to think that it was my sister's fault. But I don't blame her. Maybe she just didn't hear me crying. Kids, what do you all want for lunch? Fried chicken! Fried chicken! Fried chicken! <laughs> Life was great being at centre of attention and I always had my way. I can't concentrate, it's so noisy. We lived a comfortable life Can't you see that your brother is studying? and never lacked anything until that dreadful year where everything started to change. Are you listening to me? Can't you see that your brother is studying? Noises in the house started getting louder. Why are we wasting so much time on her? Was that even music? What? You want her to stop her piano lessons? Yes! That would be great. Look, once she stops, more money to send our boy to tuition. My parents decided to stop piano lessons for my sis to send me for more supplementary classes after school. It wasn't easy for everyone, especially for my dad, who saw what he had built over the years gone in just a matter of months. We had to make lots of adjustments. I didn't do too badly in primary school. Hey, come back ready, yeah. I got something for my math. Well, probably wow. because my family still insisted on sending me to tuition. Better than your tete. Mama really and I still get to be the favourite grandchild. Let's celebrate. Secondary school was a fun time. I did well enough to get into a good school. But getting good grades was not my priority at the time. Hanging out with my friends was. Until one day. I saw something that day and it changed everything. This was my turning point. Looking back, I was selfish, spoiled, and self-centered. Then, I began to reflect on what was happening around me. In life, nothing comes easy. Someone would have paid the price for us. I've come to realise that at every stage of my life, there's always someone looking out for me. Someone who excels, but chooses to let me shine. Someone who goes the extra mile, so that I can have a better chance. Can you identify that someone in your life? We all come from different backgrounds, and sometimes, Life throws us different circumstances, but I'm sure if we look around us, we'll always be able to find those who look out for us, who sacrifice to help us succeed. <laughs>